everyone. Uh, welcome to day 30 of the Skinny Brain Challenge or program. And today I'm talking about how to eat out uh, while you're trying to uh, follow a meal plan or you're trying to lose weight or actually in the life in general. So uh, today I want you to go download the PDF and look at all the tips that I gave you and I want you to next time that you're going out, I want you to do what it said. So my first step when I go out, usually I decide, I kind of plan in advance if I'm going to splurge, if I'm going to um, follow my diet or what I'm going to do with that event. So let's say it's uh, just a regular work meeting or something that's not uh, really special to me. I have tendency to really uh, stick to my meal plan because it's, yes, it's enjoyable, but at the same time, it's not really special. It's something that I do almost every day. So um, if I decide that I will stick to my diet or my meal plan, um, I'm gonna take the decision in, in that matters. Um, let's say it's a night out with my boyfriend. Well, I'll probably, I know that I want that glass of wine or um, I know I want that or maybe it's my birthday and I feel like I want to splurge. So you need to decide in advance what kind of event it is and how you're gonna deal with it. So let's say that it's a work event. I do a lot of those and I just, I want to stick to my meal plan. So what I'll do, it's pr I'm going to choose where I'm going to eat in advance and probably look online if they have a menu and um, so I can kind of pick what I want to eat before I'm even going. So when I get there, like I just kind of ask what I want right away and I don't even look at the menu. And I found that really, really helped because next thing you know, I'm going to get there and open the menu and oh my God, that looks so, so good. Um, so you kind of change in your mind. So if you can choose in advance what you're going to eat, um, that's really going to help. Um, and uh, like no worries, do you can find healthy version of your favorite meal pretty much everywhere you want to go or where you're going? Like even McDonald's have like like a salad and like healthier version of everything. So seriously, there's no excuses there. Like every restaurant have a healthy version so you can find it. You can also ask the waiter like um, to make something special for you. I do that all the time. Like I always ask my dressing on the side. Um, uh, dressing on the side, I ask for more veggies. Like if I'm going for like a, sa a piece of salmon, like I'm so, oh, skip the rice and just put more veggies. Like seriously, don't be shy to ask because they get tons of like food requests now. It's it's really more like, a, it's typical for them. So feel free to ask um, anything that you may want. Um, uh, so also when the food arrive in front of you, look at it and look at the portion and make sure that they fit your, um, your, um, your plan. So let's say that you're, you're supposed to have four ounces of salmon and next thing you know, it's like eight ounces, cut it in half, put it aside, same thing for rice. Put your rice, put it inside, um, and then ask for doggy back right away so you can bring it back home and eat it, um, you know, when it's planned later on that day. Um, and I found it helped when I'm done my meal, um, even, you know, sometimes I still have like uh, food on my plate and if I um, eventually I'll still pick on it. So as soon as I'm done whatever I'm supposed to eat, I'll just kind of stand up, excuse myself, and go to the washroom. So it's almost like it tricks my brain um, that it's the supper is over, the meal is over. So I'll go to the washroom and chances are that when I'm back, the waiter already picked up my plate anyway. So um, I found that help or it's almost like a psychological like barrier or I'll put like maybe my stencil on it or I'll kind of move uh, things around so it, my brain knows that I'm done my meal. Um, so that's what I suggest, um, make sure that you drink plenty of water before uh, going uh, during your meal, like I always drink as much water uh, because that too kind of tricks your brain, like you'll feel more full, more in control, uh, it reduces your calorie intake uh, a whole lot. 
and uh, yeah if you decide to go like more like on a splurge again calculate that in advance like how bad's going to be your splurge let's say i just okay well i'm just going to have a glass of wine so maybe i can just remove a little bit of pasta or rice so i can fit that glass of wine but if not um maybe i'll add myself a little extra calorie so i can manage that later in my day or sometimes if I'm going for that big purge, well, you know what? I'm spreading today and I need to move on with my life. And that's something else that um, that's totally okay. So those are my little tips. I think there's more in the PDF. Um, so look at it, find which one works for you. And we'll be, um, I'll see you tomorrow uh, for day 31. Bye.